हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट फोर लेक्चर ऑफ मैकेनिज्म ऑफ सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन एंड वी विल डिस्कस मैकेनिज्म ऑफ सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन इन एनिमल्स इन दिस लेक्चर इन पार्ट थ्री वी डिस्कस्ड मैकेनिज्म ऑफ सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन इन प्लांट्स इन पार्ट टू वी डिस्कस्ड मैकेनिज्म ऑफ सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन इन ड्रॉसोफिला and in part 1 we discussed dosage compensation and lyons hypothesis so please see other lectures uh, for mechanism of sex determination let us discuss mechanism in animals in this lecture so as we have discussed before chromosome theory of sex determination says that male and females differs in their chromosome constitution and there are two types of chromosomes present in such individuals autosomes and sex chromosomes so in one sex two sex chromosomes are homomorphic and in other they are heteromorphic for example in humans homomorphic sex chromosomes is found in fem females and in birds Uh, it is found in as zz heteromorphic is xy which is found in uh, humans and similarly in birds butterflies and moths it is z double now sex determination in humans when we discuss sex determination in humans we discuss that there are two x chromosomes in females which are sex chromosomes so sex chromosomes in females are 2x and sex chromosomes in males are x and y so y chromosome plays an important role in determining the sex of male and syndromes like turner syndrome occurs when it is without y chromosome so if the sex has the condition um, the genetic condition of some individuals have is xo it is called turner syndrome it is due to the absence of y chromosome and similarly if there is some extra x chromosome present uh, along with x and y so it also leads to a syndrome which is called line pointer syndrome so y chromosome has an important role to play in determining sex of male and here we can see in this cross that when a female with two sets of autosomes plus two xx chromosomes um, breeds with, or um, um, interbreeds with a male with two sets of autosomes plus x and y chromosome so this makes 44 plus x 44 autosomes in females along with 2 x chromosomes and 44 autosomes in males along with x y chromosomes so they form gametes and if there is proper disjunction of chromosomes so they form two uh, gametes in males as 22 plus x and 22 plus y where 22 are autosomes and in females the gametes are homomorphic with 22 autosomes plus uh, x chromosome so we see that half of the chromosomes are passed in gametes from the mother cell so these are your normal gametes when normal disjunction or separation of chromosomes happens during meiosis now when non disjunction of chromosomes happens it means there is not proper separation of chromosomes during meiosis it leads to many syndromes so here in this picture we can see that when abnormal gamete formation happens then one of the gametes in females here we can see that both the x chromosomes are going to the same gamete and the other gamete is Uh, 22 plus O, which means it it has no no X chromosome. 
and the other gamut is 22 plus XX it means that uh, non disjunction of chromosome has occurred and both the X chromosomes have are going at the same pole and so in the same gamut while in males we can see that proper disjunction of X and Y has occurred and so the gametes in male are normal with 22 autosomes plus X and 22 autosomes plus Y. Now when such individuals interbreed and fertilization of gametes takes place, we can see that in first, uh, if 22 plus XX gamete of uh, female fertilizes with 22 plus XX gamete of male, we see that the progeny will be 44 progeny will be with 44 autosomes plus uh, triple X chromosome so this will be a super female and this will uh, be a, so a super female and this is not a normal condition now the other gamete say uh, uh, the other fertilization has occurred where the 22 plus xx has fertilized with 22 plus y in males so we can see the condition is 44 plus xxy with clan tenter syndrome and this is a abnormal male because it has extra one extra x chromosome along with xy so uh, there are symptoms of clan tenter syndrome uh, and now the third progeny is when 22 plus O it means that this gamete is without X chromosome in female it fertilizes with 22 plus X in males so the condition is 44 plus XO which is Turner syndrome again this is a abnormal condition and the female uh, with this genetic const constitution they will have some symptoms um, which will be not normal and the last progeny will be 44 plus yo when the these two gametes fuse 22 plus o and 22 plus y so this um, progeny does not survive and this we uh, the uh, this progeny dies uh, soon after birth or after some time now let us discuss what is testis determining factor which is also called TDF so this gene is located on Y chromosome and suppose during abnormal conditions crossing over takes place between X and Y chromosome of male parent during meiosis Normally X and Y are non-homologous and so crossing over should not take place between them. But during the crossing over process, suppose uh, the crossing over happens between X and Y and the testis determining factor gene which is called TDF gene located on Y chromosome gets transferred to X chromosome say. Uh, so that the gametes formed in males after meiosis has X with TDF and Y with no TDF. So in such cases when fertilization of gametes happens with the female parent then the gametes of the, the progenies have if the progenies have XX with TDF and XY with no TDF on Y chromosome, then what happens that this 44 plus uh, 2X chromosomes will be male despite of having the genetic constitution 44 plus XX this will be male because this has a X chromosome carrying TDF or testis determining factor gene in them similarly 44 plus xy with no tdf although the genetic constitution is of male but this will be female because the y chromosome does not have tdf in uh, y um, chromosome has no tdf gene 
so tdf for testis determining factor is a very important gene responsible for maleness in human males so now let us understand here with this uh, diagram uh, so you can see here that there are two chromosomes here in this picture x and y so x suppose now y chromosome is normal with tdf but under normal abnormal conditions say crossing over happens between x and y and so the tdf from y chromosome say uh, gets transferred or to uh, x chromosome here so in x chromosome is with tdf now and y chromosome is without tdf now in such conditions when crossing over happens so what will happen let us see so in this condition the female with 44 plus xx and the male with 44 plus xy but on in this male the y chromosome has no tdf and in fem and the x chromosome has tdf in these males now when fertilization happens between an, uh, this male and a normal female so now you can see what happened is that in this condition the 44 with xx tdf will be a male because despite it has a uh, chromosome constitution of female with 44 plus xx but this will be a male because the x chromosome is carrying tdf that is your testis determining factor and the, now the second progeny 44 plus xy with no tdf on y chromosome will be female because it has uh, y chromosome but with no tdf so although the genetic constitution is x 44 plus xy and it should be male but this is will be a female because the y has no tdf now the third progeny is 44 plus xx tdf so this will be male because the x chromosome is carrying testis determining factor and the fourth progeny is 44 plus xy this will although this is xy and should be male but it will be female because it y chromosome has no tdf so there is a phenomenon it has been called shown testicular that feminism these xx so this is a first phenomenon when a male has morphological either by features the of females following two reasons although it due has to a transfer of a segment for tdf xy of y chromosome to x or due to abnormal crossing over or due to mutation in a locus which represses testis development now there is a region called sry region or called sex determining region Y. So uh, this is a gene in humans which is located uh, in sex determining region of Y of chromosome and this has many properties expected of TDF. In some sex reversed XY females a de novo mutation was found in SRY region suggesting that SRY is re required for male sex determination so sry or sex determining region is responsible for the formation of functional testis and it represses the ovary determining gene or both so this human sex determining region sry has been uh, delimited to a 250 basis coding for 80 amino acids and located on y chromosome it seems to be conserved and specific to y chromosome of all mammals examined and it um, sex determining region y or sry or testis de uh, determining factor tdf is a dna binding protein encoded by sry gene that is responsible for initiation of male sex in uh, mammals now there is another antigen which is called hy antigen this is a um, uh, this is found in mammals and this is a cell surface antigen and it has been shown to express in males only and this was originally recognized due to rejection of 
skin grafts from males to females. So thank you students. Let us meet in next lecture.